KJ70 SQ, saw you key up, didn't get any audio. Were you trying to check in? This is KJ70 SQ for check in. Alrighty, now recognizes KJ7 ESQ. If we have any other check ins, going to get ready to start the net in a couple of seconds. Uh, if we have any last minute verbal check ins, now would be the time. J81HF. ITP checking in. This is Wayne, Milford, Ohio. Alrighty, KD1 HF recognized. And we begin this evening's edition of the Net with No Name here on a Monday night. Welcome. My name is uh, Meadow with the Friends of Amateur Radio Group. Call sign is Kilo One, Bravo Alpha Delta. And tonight I'm coming to you from Rainham, Massachusetts, and I'll be your net control. This net meets every Monday and Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, with early check-ins starting a half hour prior. This is a directed net, and all communications will come through net control from all its members. The net with no name serves multiple purposes. To promote the use of C4FM, System Fusion, to have fun, to practice a nationwide net in case of emergency. But before we get too far into the net, I'd like to say the Pledge of Allegiance, as is our, uh, it's what we do. So I'm going to drop it, and I'll come back in and uh, say the pledge. I already have to switch my radio there. But uh, well, let's say the pledge. If you have a flag nearby, please turn to the flag. Uh, remove any non-religious headgear. Hand over your heart as we say the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May God bless America. All right, I'd like to thank the Friends of America friends of amateur radio group I got my words all tied up there for continued support uh, giving uh, QSO America to be able to host this net through membership and donations friends of uh, amateur radio group has been able to create QSO America both on Fusion and All Star Link please check out FARG at F-A-R-G dot club also if you're listening or uh, new I don't see any uh, new folks here tonight uh, you can check us out at QSO America's Facebook page by going to QSOAmerica.com. And that way we can see, uh, you can see what's happening both on Fusion and All Star. We're using NetLogger tonight, and if you don't have NetLogger, you can go to NetLogger.org to download it, but it's not required. So before I go through the list, I'll go over some rules. Alrighty. First of all, please do not click in or break between stations as we progress down the list. I'll ask for check-in several times throughout the net. Give a four to five second break between passing stations. This gives the system time to reset and in case there's an emergency, it, traffic can get through. Uh, if you're not using NetLogger, please write down the call sign of the station following you so that you know who to pass it to as this will help keep the net rolling smoothly. And if you forget, just send it back up to net control. I'll give a topic or question for the night, but we're not limited to that. Feel free to share uh, whatever you want to with the group, anything from how your day is going to growing tomatoes. <laughs> Although in some parts, that hasn't been too successful. So again, all hams are welcome and encouraged to join our net. And uh, before uh, I go through the list, We'll uh, pause and see if there are any other check-ins for tonight's net. If so, please come now. This is 
November 8th, Hotel Uniform Bravo, India, Michigan. And that recognizes N8HUB. Well, good evening, Andy. Thank you for joining us. All righty. Well, I will read the list uh, this evening before I uh, get into tonight's topic. As I have it right now, we will start with Adam and the 4NT. And 4NT, please send it to KE0OGD. And then it goes HND over to KD2PNR, KD2PNR to N7BRV, N7BRV to KJ7ESQ, KJ7ESQ to KD1HF, KD1HF to N8HUB. And right now, Andy, you are the tail gunner, so you could send it back up to me, unless we get somebody else uh, checking in after you. So. Uh, before uh, I start the first round and uh, give tonight's uh, topic, I'll uh, just pause here for a quick second, see if there are any other check-ins, any other check-ins, last opportunity before we start our first round. Alrighty, nothing heard, so... Tonight's topic or question for those of us uh, maybe who do we belong to a local club or organization, and uh, if you do, and during this time where uh, the movement's been restricted and uh, some uh, we have kind of limited movement as far as things that we can do, is there anything creative that uh, your club has done? to kind of get together or uh, spend some time uh, social distancing but still playing radio. Uh, I get, uh, something interesting that we did up here in uh, Mass just recently. So uh, with that, we'll send it over to Adam. So anything, if you belong to a local org a ham organization, a club, something that you guys have done that's uh, kind of interesting, or even if you have an idea of what you can do to get kind of creative using the hobby, to kind of get out of the uh, crawl space in the house and, uh, and get out, get some air, and still play radio. Uh, so take it away, Adam, from K1, B80. This is N4NT. Let me uh, first off say good evening to everybody on the net. And uh, they have a really good question uh, or topic, however you want to put that. Um, I'm actually the uh, president of the Bristol Amateur Radio Club here in Bristol, Tennessee, and Virginia. We're, for those that are uh, not familiar with us, it's uh, two cities with the same name that sit on the border of two states, Virginia and Tennessee. They're, they essentially function as independent cities, but uh, a lot of things do also get done together, and one of them being the local amateur radio club uh, covers both states. And uh, one of the things that we have done is uh, our, our normal meeting place is at a hospital using their conference rooms and um, so I anticipate that uh, anything that is done as far as opening the states back up and that kind of thing and it is on the Tennessee side of town and Tennessee is starting to open back up however I, could, I can foresee the hospital restricting us um, for using their facility a little longer as a precautionary measure than say uh, you know another facility would so what we've done is uh, we have went to on the air meetings for our regular monthly club meetings um, and it's funny that this uh, topic gets brought up uh, I actually uh, got asked by the uh, section manager for uh, Virginia ARRL to write an article for their newsletter on the uh, process or procedure of how we do this one of the things that interested them the most is the fact that I simulcast this meeting on uh, on YouTube and then I, I monitor the chat for YouTube and NetLogger and that way there are several avenues of uh, participation to make sure club members can participate in this meeting. And, um, so 
I wrote the article and basically outlined how that uh, I have to I have to have two transmitters, but or, or two radios, transceivers is what I meant to say, that are capable of the same mode in order to do it. Otherwise, uh, my own personal audio can't be heard. Let me reset real quick. And so basically what I do, and I'm doing this tonight actually, I'm broadcasting this net on YouTube, is I'm transmitting on my FT991 and my FTM400 that's in the shack is the uh, the listening radio that is uh, connected to the computer putting out the, uh, the stream. And uh, so I wrote the article and sent it in to the gentleman. He's actually going to submit it for being uh, included in, in QST. And uh, you know, I outlined the software that I use and uh, how I keep the... Uh, radios from sort of desensing one another uh, and that was a process that took me a while to figure out and uh, Wires X helps tremendously because I can actually go in you know via the, the internet connection not put any RF out that kind of thing there's several different ways I can do it so that's uh, that's kind of where we're at is some things that I started doing uh, a couple years ago that uh, actually came into play when this uh, this whole deal started and we couldn't actually meet in person so we started meeting on the air and um, since most of our or well, I shouldn't say most of ours but a lot of our club members still don't have C4 FM radios I go in and change the Bristol Wires X room to an analog room just for the duration of the meeting and that way if uh, anyone needs to come in via Wires X they can do so but they're going out over the analog repeater where we know everybody within our club has the capability so that's uh, that's what we're doing here, and it was, uh, like I said, a really good question because uh, just over this weekend I wrote an article about it, and uh, hopefully uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a process, but hopefully we'll see that published at some point and uh, make it into uh, as far as uh, QST magazine. So I'd, I'd be really uh, proud and tickled of that. But uh, that was uh, something I was going to mention, and like I said, the YouTube. Uh, channel or page, whatever you want to call it, it's called Ham Radio Zone, and this net is currently live on that YouTube uh, channel, so if you want to go back and check out your own audio or, or what have you, you can go to that uh, that page and check out the uh, recording of this net and a few others, subscribe and all that good stuff. Okay, had to reset again. Uh, with that, I will turn it over to Jay, KE0, um, OGD. This is N4NT. Thank you, Adam, and hello to everybody on the net. A uh, very good topic, uh, and one that uh, we've been using, I'm the secretary in the St. Cloud Amateur Radio Club here in Minnesota, uh, and so we've been doing board meetings on Zoom, and the regular uh, general meetings have been on, the, on our repeater, our analog repeater here, uh, that uh, we have three repeaters, we have a clubhouse with a very small antenna farm on it that the railroad actually gave us the clubhouse. Not us, but the club at the time, because I think they've had it for about 30, 30, 40 years now. They've had a clubhouse. And this club is well over 100 years old. And so... Uh, what we've also been doing is uh, <laughs> director, I guess, there would be in the service, but uh, uh, nets, where we've been checking in nightly at 7 o'clock and just one at a time go through the list to see if anybody needs anything or anybody uh, can help or if they have any emergency needs. And, from what I hear now, the COVID is just kind of hitting our county and county. Supposedly, the New York Times said we're going to be the new, the new hot spot. I, I, I don't. Whatever. Uh, 
Um, anyway. Uh, those are two things that I think are kind of unique. Uh, well, not really unique. I imagine everybody else is too. But that's one way we're doing it because we have a clubhouse. So, you know, Monday nights, we're usually down there BS until 10 o'clock at night and uh, playing radios or, or whatever, you know. Uh, you can pretty much do anything down there. And we've been setting it up more as an educational wing now. Uh, cleaned out the back room, setting up some permanent stations, and we've been teaching some kids. Uh, so we're trying to uh, progress and get some young people in because we're looking around. There's nobody to climb the tower after our generation, so we got to get somebody up there. With that, I will hand the uh, the wheel over to N7 DND. And because of the St. Cloud Radio Club, I haven't made a FARG meeting yet, but I hope to someday. With that, I'll turn it over to N7DND. Well, thank you. This is N7DND, Gary out in Utah. And uh, Mello, it was a great. Uh, that was a great uh, question. Good job. Uh, we've been doing a lot of things. We have uh, six repeaters that are all fusion uh, slash analog repeaters. In fact, it's up right now. Dave is on it, uh, joining us. We'll be talking in a few minutes. And uh, I, I host the uh, Wires X that goes to it. We have another repeater that does Wires X also. But uh, what have we been doing? Uh, we've uh, been having our officer meeting. Uh, I am the, the treasurer of our um, we have 130, 40 members. Uh, that's a good hub here. It's the entire Davis County. Aries races and, and all of that stuff. Uh, we have local ECs in all of the jurisdictions, cities and stuff. Uh, during this COVID thing, though, we've been, we've been on the radio and we've been uh, having our club meetings on Zoom and our, uh, our officers' meetings also on Zoom which has been working out very well. In fact, this next Saturday is coming up. We're going to be doing a, uh, a weather meeting. So uh, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's kind of fun uh, to try different things. So anyway, that being said, uh, I'm going to send it on over to, to Scott, KN4HND. This is Gary, N7DND. N7DND. KN4HND. Good, good evening, Gary, and everyone out there. I'm not a member of the local club here, but I have heard of um, on the local repeater guys were uh, in the and they would go to uh, like a central location, um, a centralized location, and uh, they had all in their cars, socially distancing, and um, they'd find a Twitch channel. And uh, just talking back and forth to each other in the parking lot, possibly where their clubs are. Or where and uh, they all kind of talked to each other that way. And everybody stayed uh, a safe distance apart. And uh, they had their little meeting on Simpsons. So I've heard of that. So I thought that was pretty good. But uh, don't know, uh, don't have a whole lot more to add. So I'm going to turn it down to. Uh, Let's see here. Um, KD2 PNR. Now take it away. This is KN4 region. Well, very good. Thank you very much, Jim. There, and uh, KN4 HND, KD2 PNR. Well, let's see here. Uh, our club, we. Uh, of course, we're all closed down. We're in one of the one of the more intense lockdown states here in New Jersey. They closed up early and often, and uh, they're still trying to figure out what they're doing, but they don't know. Yeah. So anyway, that's that. Uh, our club has uh, not had a meeting in a while. We have not had a club meeting of any kind. We, I don't recall our having one on the repeater, 
but what we have done is we have had a board meeting on uh, Google Meet. We uh, did not go the Zoom route yet, or maybe we never will, I don't know, but anyway, we did the Google Google Meet, and it was uh, kind of an impromptu meeting, uh, not for particularly great reason. We haven't uh, had any earth chattery club business that we needed to do, which is a good thing, but um, we, uh, we had a problem with a, uh, a ham in the area that has been a, a serious problem for many, many years and been warned many, 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 many times. And finally, the last of it hit, and we uh, we had to ban him from the repeater for life. So uh, that, that required a fair amount of uh, chat, and that's okay. It's good to discuss these things. Um, but in any event, we uh, we didn't need that, so that's what we've been doing. Not very much, actually. You know, it's uh, everybody's kind of running around. Some of the uh, the in crowd at the uh, club are doing some work with the repeater and this and that, and uh, trying some stuff out. But as far as general club activities, no, there aren't any, and uh, they pretty much canceled everything for the foreseeable future. So I don't know what, if anything, they'll do for field day. So with that, I'm going to uh, shoot it on over to Bill, and he can uh, take it from there. M7 BRV, KV2 PNR. KV2 PNR, M7 BRV. Thank you, Alf. Well, nothing new here in Idaho. Um, all of our the clubs I belong to were all canceled and. We haven't had a meeting since January, and uh, we just do our we get our, we do our monthly our weekly meeting over the over the radio. <laughs> one of the local uh, one of the local repeaters here or simplex depends on which way we go. So other than that, that's about it. So. Got nothing else to report. So I'll be here for the second round. I've got a HF net that's going to call me here in a second, but I will be here. Uh, KJ7ESQ, take it away, Dave, and 7 BRB. And 7 BRB, this is KJ7ESQ. Thank you very much, Bill. Well, I kind of think Gary covered all of the club information. I belong to the same club. Uh, Gary's a member. And uh, we haven't had a meeting other than the Zoom meeting for the last month. Um, I do miss the, the meeting. Uh, we had a bookstore with our local club where there's lots of current books they keep, radio-type connections, antennas, all types of hardware, kind of any, anything that you're looking for they have at the bookstores, we like to call it. I do miss that, uh, being able to browse around and listen to the, the latest topics. And so, um, with that said, I'm going to turn it over to KD1HF. Mike, this is KJ7ESQ. Okay, thank you guys. Great job on the net, Mello. And, uh, yeah, um, the only club I really belong to, I think, is the FARG. So, uh, and I haven't heard of anything special that they're doing for just all the nets we're on and so on and so forth. And uh, I used to belong to the Attleboro Club years ago, Mello. You're familiar with them. And then I'm on the nets with uh, N1NTM, Mike, and that group. Uh, the... the uh, Pilgrim Wireless Amateur Radio Group, something like that, but a uh, good bunch of guys. I'm probably joining that one, uh, comfortable with those guys, and uh, so on and so forth. But, uh, yep, doing some other things on Zoom and things like that, so that's a good way to go. So that's, uh, and then uh, the, I know that group, the Pilgrim Group, has a lot of extra nets, uh, Sunday nights, Monday nights, and Friday nights. So, uh, let's see, my call sign, where I was going with the handy. N8 HUV. Pick it up from KD1HF. Hello, this is Kelly Lane. HUV, okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks for letting me in there tonight. I'm going to check it in. You guys sound like you're doing pretty good. 
well, we usually have a, uh, have a digital net and then an analog net. And our, uh, over by us here, we have a digital net on uh, West Michigan Connect, 21335, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern, Tuesday night. So you guys are around, bumping around. Uh, get a chance to stop over and say hello. That's Tuesday night, 7 o'clock Eastern, 21335, uh, uh, West Michigan Connect. And we usually have that and then our analog net on Tuesdays. And uh, afterwards, we usually go out for coffee, but since the restaurants and stuff are closed here, we had to kind of cancel that instead of uh, our coffee clutch. <clears throat> on Tuesdays, we have a uh, heavy little coffee clutch on the radio and on the uh, local repeater Saturday mornings about 7, 30, 8 o'clock or so. So we get by that way. And then for our monthly meeting, we have one, usually have a monthly meeting on Thursday nights and one uh, at the local library. They're really good. They let us have a room there and uh, save a spot for us once a month on Thursdays. And instead of doing that, we have our uh, have our Thursday meeting night on uh, once a month on Thursdays on the on the local repeater again. So and we usually have a pretty good group check in. I think last week we had 15 guys check in. I think I had more on the radio check ins than we do at the at the library. So people are uh, getting around on radio yet and still listening. But uh, other than that, we're we're doing okay. We're just waiting for this stuff to end so we can get back to somewhat normal again. That's all I got. Hey, thanks for letting me in there. Uh, turn back to the net control, K1BAD and 88 qb And 88 qb K1BAD. Oh, thank you, Andy. And uh, before I make my comments, I'll throw it out there one more time, see if there are any other check-ins before I make my comments and we start our second round, our our 73 round. So if there is anybody who's lurking and waiting to check in, now is the time to do it. Press that BTT, let us know that uh, you want to get in here. So any other check-ins, come now. 10-9 YBK, checking in late. Nancy, the name is Milt, my kidney early my tango. All righty, and that recognizes N9YBK. Thanks for joining us this evening. And KA9FON, Milt, good to hear you in here. Uh, tonight's uh, question, if you, uh, pretty much uh, let us know if you belong to a local club or some uh, local ham organization, and uh, if you're involved in, in doing some creative stuff uh, during uh, this lockdown time, or at least this social distancing time in, in some states. Uh, let us know what kind of things uh, you're doing, or if you have some ideas, let us know what they are. So with that, I'll send it over to N9YBK. N9YBK, send it over to KA9FON, and uh, you'll be our tail gunner, so you can send it to the control right uh, right after you make your comments. Uh, pick it up, N9YBK. <laughs> yeah, interesting topic. Uh, yes, uh, outside of uh, being a, uh, very active in the Friends of Amateur Radio Group, uh, being the vice president and jack of all trades for just about everything that goes on with the uh, club there, besides uh, front running most of most of everything for that for that club, uh, also a member of a local club uh, that's uh, well over a hundred years old, one of the oldest ones in Chicagoland and uh, helping them try and organize the VE sessions, uh, getting them done uh, online, or working for details and trying to get that figured out, which is kind of interesting. And I'm hoping uh, we can get that all figured out and they can test run it and get it working, and then we can implement it uh, through the uh, Friends of Edge Radio Group as well. That would be an excellent addition to the, uh, to the club there. But currently, uh, like last Saturday, they... Uh, had a testing session, appointment only. Um, 
and they only had uh, a maximum of six people in this person's garage at one time, and they changed it up instead of supplying uh, pencils and and pens and things like that. Uh, the candidates were to bring their own and leave with their own, and anything they arrive with, they must leave with, et cetera, et cetera, and stay in their vehicle until uh, signaled to come come for their appointed time or wait until their actual appointed time. So it was pretty well uh, pretty well run. Uh, efficiently and interestingly, so that uh, worked out well. But uh, it's funny for me, I guess. Uh, uh, let's see. Thanks, Miller, for running in it tonight, and uh, I'll pass it over to or up there uh, to Milt up in Michigan, I believe it is. Uh, K nine FON from N nine YBK. It's your turn. Uh, thank you very much, Matt. NYYBK K nine F O N and Mallow, good evening to you. Thank you for doing the net. Yeah, anyway, you go. We're having some uh easy going uh, days here. I uh, I do have a, a job a business I run out of the house. It's uh doesn't involve any visiting offices or anything, it's just all uh, all online stuff. And I belong to the local club here in Hastings, Michigan. It's uh, the Barry County Radio Association, and we've just been having Zoom meetings uh, here and there, and of course uh, on the air nets every week. And uh, we could do a C4FM net locally and uh, on our simplex frequency, getting used to digital because we are in the process of setting up a new 440 uh, C4FM repeater on top of the EOC tower here in the area, so that'll be pretty neat. Uh, it's going to have wires X and everything, and I may use my HT outside to get on the snet someday <laughs> once they're done with it. <coughs> and personally, I've been, uh, I bought a, uh, a little uh, a QRP HF rig, and I've been doing, having some fun with it, taking it outdoors, uh, setting up on 10 out there, kind of a field day thing, and operating outside. I'm going to try a little bit of mobile with it, and, uh, see how that works out and uh pretty much uh no problem i'm not cooped up or anything i got a nice uh yard that i can go outside and sit and walk outside and it hasn't been too bad at all and uh, we're opening up slowly but surely here so but anyway uh that's the scoop of it uh Mello, and uh nice hitting around here tonight k1badk 9 K nine F O N K one B A D. Thank you, Mill, and uh, thanks, Matt. <laughs> All righty. Well, before we start our seventy three round, uh, I had an interesting situation here as we started the net, and uh, <laughs> I sent it down to Adam, and we had a power surge which knocked us out for a little bit. By the time I got my power pack uh, going to reconnect to Wi Fi, power came back and. Uh, was able to get back in and catch the tail end of Adam's comments. <laughs> you know, gotta love it. I mean, I had it ready to go, but uh, thankfully the power came back. I don't know what that what caused that. I heard nothing on our local PD or fire, so it was just a blip in the electricity. I'm gonna drop this. And, uh, Let's see, uh, local club belong to the uh, KWA, the local club that Mike was talking about, KD1HF. A uh, good group of guys here. We typically meet at the one of the local hospitals here, but obviously with everything going on with hospital stuff, we obviously aren't meeting in person and all the uh, restrictions uh, as far as uh, getting into hospitals. But uh, we have our meetings on the air uh, on the uh, local Taunton repeater here. And uh, we do have a uh, net. As a matter of fact, I checked into their net and uh, was in there for a little bit before I came over here to run uh, net tonight. And a good bunch of guys over there on Sunday nights. We have a 10-meter net that we do. And uh, this Friday night, there's usually one Friday out of the month that they used to meet for pizza. So we're just going to do a, a, a net on, uh, on Friday on the air. So uh, one of the uh, things that one of the other organizations that well, have really kind of a kind of a New England group, a DMR group, 
uh, they did something this Saturday which was uh, kind of interesting, something along the lines of what uh, Scott was talking about earlier. Uh, let me drop. Uh, we have a New England group here, uh, DMR uh, users, and uh, we typically try to get together once a month for breakfast. Uh, obviously, we know that we can't sit in and dine. So this past Saturday, what the group did was decided that they would go to the breakfast place, order breakfast, have them bring it out to the cars, and then park strategically in the parking lot so that everyone could see everyone else. Uh, simplex uh, frequency and have a breakfast round table in the car as well social distancing and enjoying a little meal so that was a little different <laughs> kind of a creative way to not be cooped up in the house still be able to get out and still uh, you know not violate any uh, quote unquote mandates <laughs> so that's kind of been the way that, it, that it's been sometimes we can get a little creative and thankfully with this hobby we can be creative so with that uh, we'll go over the list one more time it pretty much is as it stands we had some additions there so um, let me drop and then I'll give uh, the order once again Alrighty, the batting order for the 73 round. And the 4 NT, Adam. Adam down to KE0, OGD, J. J to N7, DND, Gary. Gary to KN4, HND, Scott. Scott to KD2, PNR, Al. Al to N7, BRB, Bill. To KJ7 ESQ, Dave, Dave over to Mike, KD1 HF, Mike down to N8 HUB, Andy, and Andy, you can toss it over to Chicago, Matt, N9 YBK, and Matt, you can hand it over to Milt, KA9 FON, and once again, you're our tail gunner, you can send it back to me. So, uh, kicking it off to Adam, and 4 NT from K1 B80. I'll just uh, throw in a couple quick reminders. Uh, one, the uh, net is being broadcast currently live on YouTube, and that recording will be uploaded and saved there. So uh, if you missed any portion of it and you want to go back and listen, then uh, that's a, a good way to do it. And the link for that is in the AIM window on NetLogger, or you can go to the uh, pay the uh, channel, rather, uh, YouTube channel, Ham Radio Zone, and um, that will get you there. I just want to throw out an invitation for everybody. Uh, tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern Time will be the Tri-Cities Mountain Empire Fusion Net um, from here in the uh, Tri-Cities and Mountain Empire regions of uh, Virginia and Tennessee. And that is uh, Wires X Room 61243, the Bristol Amateur Radio Club Wires X Room. So uh, throw out an invitation to uh, join us. Um, I don't have any... Uh, any major uh, happenings, so I should be back at the helm as uh, net control. Thanks to uh, Matt for uh, filling in for me last week and uh, continuing the net. And we did the same thing with that one as well. Um, of course, I wasn't home last week to do it, but uh, the uh, live YouTube and that kind of thing we uh, we do, and we do a topic format. With that, I'll say 7-3, and I uh, hope everybody... Uh, have a good evening, and I'll turn it over to KE0OGD. Oh, thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, somebody down the line said uh, they did their board meetings on meat, and I guess that's what we did. We did the board meetings on meat. I have these two other things going on. We did Zoom there, but we use Meet, and it seems to work okay, but I think Zoom is easier to use, truthfully, but uh, probably because it was made for whatever. I don't know. Anyway, uh, everybody have a good evening. 73 is everybody. Uh, KE0, OGD, and I'll hand it over to Gary, N7, DND. 73 is everybody. K 
KU0GD in 7 D and D Gary out in Utah. Hi, Mello. I, uh, I feel for you. I understand uh, losing it all at one time. <laughs> it's much fun being net control when that happens. I guess that's why I'm still using a piece of paper and a, a pencil right now. Everybody's call sign as they come in, just in case, because you never know. But I'm glad you're back up and everything is working. So anyway, I want to say seven threes to everybody, and uh, it's always fun to join the net. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun group of people. Uh, from all over the country, uh, it, I've really enjoyed uh, the camaraderie and the uh, what's going on back in Boston and what's going on out here. And it's funny, my grandson came over today and we mowed some lawns. And we generally go have a, a little lunch after we finish uh, the lawns and stuff together. And we like to go to a local mom and pop restaurant. Well, it's not a restaurant; it's a drive-in. And last uh, couple of weeks, we've had to sit outside. And today, the restaurant's open. Uh, it's uh, Things are really wide open out here in Utah, and uh, they're following all of the rules, and they're following all the six feet apart and everything, but they're wiping tables down, and we're getting back to real life. Uh, my Elmer went and got his hair cut today, so things are things are working out, I guess. Over to you, Scott, KN4HND. This is N7DND Gary out in Utah. In 7 D&D, this is KN4 HND. Good evening again, everyone. May the 8th, Governor Roy Hooper is going to, uh, supposed to, uh, been to open the state back up, uh, for more normal, um, use. And some of the business have, uh, some of the business here in the county over this weekend. They said, hey, we're going to open up and yeah, try and stop us. So, uh, Good for them. I've always felt like if if you um, if you can go, go. If you're um, if you're not sure or you want to play it safe, stay. Be put. Yeah, that's the way I've always felt about things. You're young and uh, uh, you're full of gusto and go for it. But uh, and all, maybe it's the best we just. Lay low for a little bit while longer. Uh, maybe a little bit longer uh, than uh, than just a few weeks from now. So, um, I, uh, beautiful day here today. I had to get outside. 78 degrees, beautiful blue skies, sunshine. We took old Dexter for a walk. We had a great day. Um, trees are blooming. The flowers are just bursting with color. And, um, uh, gosh, I hope all that doesn't get frostbit this weekend. I hope the the weather uh, forecast is wrong, and we don't get uh, we don't get a heavy cold snap this weekend. I hope everything uh, just kind of uh, goes stays normal for this kind of time of year. So, um, well, anyway, everyone, seventy three. God bless and. Uh, this is KN4HD. I'm going to pass it on to Al. KD2, PNR. Take it away, Al. Yeah, okay, Scott. KN4HND in the group, KD2, PNR. Well, let's see here. I didn't write any notes, so you're all lucky. <laughs> uh, not too much else going on around here. I don't... Uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing any kind of normal, even anything approaching normal life around here. As I kind of said before, our governor likes to lock things up. They uh, they just opened some of the they opened the state parks and um, um, golf courses Saturday, and we had a whole bunch of people come down to the shore from other parts of the state and probably from Philly as well, and swamped the place and they promptly closed them all again. So uh, they didn't last even 24 hours before they were all shut down here, at least. And so that's what we're looking forward to. He says we're going to be, uh, it's going to be weeks before we see any uh, real loosening around here. And um, I, uh, the wife went shopping today, talked to a friend of ours that uh, works at the local major supermarket, Acme, and 
she informed her that they had a staff meeting today and they were informed that there were going to be massive meat shortages and they were already instituting rationing for that. So uh, that'll be the next thing to hit. The good news is she was able to find one pack of toilet paper. That's the first toilet paper we've seen in months. So anyway, I don't know. It's certainly not going to be normal here. If it doesn't let up soon, I might have to find a move. Uh, oh, wait, they tax you here when you leave the state. <laughs> I don't like that. They won't even let you move out. They tax you for that, too. Anyway, that's enough of that nonsense. So, uh, I, uh, oh, I did forget to mention our club decided they were going to have lots of nets. And so they instituted a 9 a.m. breakfast net because there was a good group of us that used to go to breakfast only once a week at 9 o'clock. And they decided they'd have the net at 9, but they would have going to do it every single day. So that one started. And then there's another one at 3 o'clock in the afternoon that somebody started in that one. And I haven't checked into very many of them, uh, but I assume that they're still going. I have a 9 o'clock HF net that I tend to do uh, most every most days. Not every day, but most days. Anyhow, that's enough of that. Off uh, to Bill, and he can take it away from there. Uh, N7VRB, KD2PNR. 73, guys. Ah, KD2PNR, KD2PNR, N7VRB. Thank you, Al. Well, not much more to report here. Uh, other than we're opening up just a little bit. But some of the states around us aren't opening up as fast, so we're getting flooded by them. Now they're trying to say, well, you come to our state, you have to quarantine for 14 days in state. And you can't go back to your own state. But how they're going to push that, I have no no idea. <laughs> so, we'll face 73, and thanks for doing the net there, Mello, and we will pass it over to Dave. Uh, KJ7, ESQ, November 7, Bravo, Romeo, Bravo, and we'll catch everybody Wednesday. Thank you much, Bill. This is uh, KJ7, ESQ. Well, it is nice that here in Utah they're starting to open up. Um, it seems some are opening up, some are getting tighter. Um, some are requiring face masks, some are not. So it just kind of depends on where you go. But it's kind of nice to see the restaurants starting to open back up. That, that's a good thing for sure. I'd like to say thank you to Mello for running the net tonight. And I've enjoyed all of the uh, camaraderie that's been going on here. And I would like to say 73 to all, and I'm going to pass it down to Mike, KD1HF. This is KJ7ESQ. Uh, thank you there, Dave. And, uh, yep, great job. Good comments all around and interesting things going on everywhere. Uh, we're still locked down, only say, till the 18th of this month, and then... Uh, and then who knows? Uh, they may extend to whatever they got to do. Keep everybody safe. So we'll, we'll, we'll live with it, whatever we got to do to behave. So anyway, and stay healthy. Stay safe and healthy. So great job in the net. Hello. And I will turn it back over to, I got a look at his call here, wrote it down, then hit the book I wrote it down in. And uh, what's the A call there? Let's see. N-A-H-U-V. Andy, pick it up from KD1HF. 7-3, everybody. Hey, it should be, yeah, okay, 73 there. Good to hear you. <clears throat> I was going to mention, too, I forgot. We talked about the things we do ever since we got this, this stay-at-home thing. We, uh, I usually go over to a, we got a sister, uh, kind of like a sister club next colony a couple towns over uh, when, uh, when we got the opportunity, we usually meet every Friday over to uh, Big John's Pizza over there, about uh, about 30 miles from here. I usually pick up another guy that was about, a, about six miles away, and we ride up there and spend a little time, have some pizza, and swap the biggest fish story, and 
guys bring a lot of things they're working, the gadgets they're working on, the antennas they're building, or circuits they, they build up, soldering projects, you kind of pass them around and look at them, two and a half pieces, and sit there for about an hour and a half before we clear out. So it's, uh, I haven't done that in a long time. I, I've been missing that. But uh, we have when they start getting things opened up here a little bit. I'm supposed to have some things open up uh, by... Uh, by Thursday or Friday, I guess. Another thing we need is uh, beauty shops and barber shops to open up. Man, I'm starting to look like a chia pet here. I uh, need to see a barber uh, real bad there, but uh, we'll see what happens between now and the weekend. Uh, let me take a break here. With that, I'll say thanks for letting me check in, and uh, you guys stay safe. Do the six-foot rule thing and wash your hands and all kinds of things like that. Try to get back in Wednesday night for a go around. But uh, thanks for letting me in again. Uh, Tuesday nights, 7 o'clock Eastern, 21335, West Michigan Connect, uh, digital network. Everybody's welcome. Stop by and say hello. I'll turn over to Matt, K9YBK, and eighty. <laughs> Thank you very much. N9 YBK, Chicago Matt here. Uh, let me see. I had some comments I was going to make it. I forgot them. Um, I did enjoy the Chia Pet comment, though. That was that was pretty good. I'm starting to feel that way myself. Um, about ready to take the uh, buzzers to my own head and just take it all the way down and, you know, do it. Uh, just wait for it to grow back before I go back to the barber kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, Oh, shoot, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, uh, tomorrow night uh, in this room, uh, we'll try and uh, switch over 9.30 Eastern for Adams and that there, the Tri-City Mountain Empire Net. We've been switching uh, on Tuesday evenings over there. I'll make an announcement before we make the switch, and I'll make an announcement when we get back. But uh, if you're available and not checking into all the various other options that are out there, uh, feel free to check in on Adams. That's always a pretty good time there as well uh, I think that's it for me uh, I don't forget about the other nets I'm sure Melo will mention those uh, as well and a reminder that the teapot and PU's Tech Friday net will be moving to All Star as of the 15th of this month uh, if you don't have All Star you can get in through Echo Link or through DMR and that information should be available on our Facebook page or on Teapot and DU's uh, Facebook page as well. So I think that's it for me. Apologize for being late, uh, but glad I was able to get in here. So I will pass it to uh, Milt. And I don't know where my note was with his call sign. It's KA9FON, I think it was, from N9YBK. 7 3 all. Hey, Matt, this is Jerry and YBK, K9 of one. Well, thank you very much, Matt. Uh, uh, nice uh, hearing you on here tonight. And, uh, well, not much uh, to add here. Uh, I mentioned a few. I guess I didn't mention that uh, the local club that we belong to, Barry uh, Radio Club, is a, uh, meets uh, in the EOC building of this uh, county, and it's pretty uh, closely affiliated with the uh, county uh, system, the Barry, uh, the uh, Emergency Operating Center, and a lot of us do. Well, volunteer work when we can. There's a lot of things that have changed. Uh, you canceled. Uh, we were uh, facilitating bike races and stuff like that. And I think uh, field day is up in the air too right now. And uh, we'll probably do it independently or personally or whatever. But I, uh, I'm all set up to do it out in the yard. <laughs> I've uh, already figured it out what I can do. Uh, except I probably have to get a generator, but maybe I'll just do it off a battery. Oh, uh, we'll see. But anyway, uh, still May here, uh, but anyway, it's uh, kind of cool up here in Michigan, too, for now. Anyway, uh, 73 is all around the table, and uh, I uh, thank you for all uh, being here. And, uh, Mello, we will uh, catch you a little later. Uh, I can't want BAD to take it, K9FON. K9FON, K1BAD, thank you, Milt. 
Well, good to have everybody in here this evening. And uh, before I close it out, make my final comments. Uh, last chance for any last-minute check-ins. If you're uh, standing by and you want to check in before we close this, come now. I'll give you a few seconds uh, to see if you want to come in. And 5 PEF in Salt Lake City area. N5 PEF, this is K1BAD and I control tonight. Welcome. And uh, we just uh, finished our 73 round, but uh, tonight's topic was uh, just asking folks if they belong to any local clubs, uh, any local ham organizations, and uh, have you been doing any creative things uh, during this lockdown? Uh, getting out with the club and, and just doing some things that you could still do while social distancing and enjoying the hobby. So with that, I'll send it over to you, and uh, when you're done, just send it back up to Net Control. So over to N5, PEF from K1, V80. Yeah, okay, K1. D A D N five P E F. Name here is Derek, Delta India Romeo Kilo. We're located north of Salt Lake City, uh, in the uh Clearfield area. And heard you guys on there and just thought I'd jump in and say hello. Um uh, I've been working from home and uh so maintaining my social distance distancing from others and and well most of all my radio equipment is shut down because I'm in the, in the process of moving so <laughs> uh, so right now I'm just using the, an FT3D uh, talkie uh, sitting on my front porch and uh, talking uh, talking to you so so uh, I guess that uh, pretty much answers it all. Um, sounds like I'm getting in quite well, so that's good. I was kind of curious to see how this radio was sounding. So back over to net control, N5PEF. Back to N5, BEF, K1, BAD. Well, uh, pleasure to meet you, Dirk. Thanks uh, for joining us tonight. Glad you could join us. And uh, welcome to join us anytime. Your audio was good there, so uh, you're coming in uh, nice and clear. Uh, thanks for uh, your comments. And uh, we're here on the Mondays or Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. And then our sister net is uh, on here on... Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday mornings at 9.30 uh, a.m. Eastern Time once again. And then the uh, Teapot and PU Tech Friday Night Net, uh, typically here, uh, but as of the 15th, it'll be uh, moving over to our All-Star uh, connection there, TSO America. And uh, if you don't have uh, All-Star and you have DMR access, you can also come in through uh, Talk Group. 313-5550 uh, through DMR. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, participated in tonight's net. Uh, once again, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I would like to thank the uh, Friends of Amateur Radio Group for hosting this net on QSO America. And uh, look forward to hearing uh, folks uh, next time we meet, uh, well, next Wednesday night. And if you're around uh, tomorrow morning, check in with the easy to hear net. So uh, if you have any uh, questions or you want to submit any questions or topics uh, for the net, please send the emails to Matt at n9ybk at arrl.net or Sean, W7AZC at arrl.net. So with that, uh, I'm going to close tonight's net. I'll say 7-3. God bless. And once again, thank you for uh, hanging out with us tonight. Uh, enjoy the uh, comments and uh, 
the uh, every, what everybody's doing with their uh, local uh, clubs there to kind of pass the time away as we are going through this time. So uh, I'm going to close the net at 0159 UTC and returning QSO America to its normal amateur radio use, if any of us are really normal. So 7-3, God bless, from K1BAD. Thanks for stopping by.